Hey folks, your OS Reviews, you're watching our video first look and a quick review of the On W6. This is a low-cost, hi-fi, lossless sound MP3 player that sells for around 35 bucks on Gearbest. The main selling point of the W6 though is it features stereo Bluetooth. This is not a feature you'll typically find on low-cost MP3 players, and in this instance it allows it to connect wirelessly to Bluetooth headsets and earphones, uh, which is great if you are going to the gym or if you're you know, exercising you don't want cords to get in the way. It's a pretty modern feature. Uh, otherwise, the design of the On W6 is also fairly attractive and comes in a few different colors. Reminds me a little bit of older Samsung MP3 players. Packaging here very simple, we just have the mp3 player on the top, and we'll take a closer look at that in a moment. Uh, packaging contents include a standard mini USB cable for charging and syncing data. It takes roughly two hours to completely charge, and it'll give you, uh, you know, I would say about a month of use before you need to recharge it again if you are listening to music sporadically in between. Standard 3.5mm headphones, nothing to write home about, and also an instruction pamphlet printed in Chinese and English. Uh, on the back of the packaging, you do see some basic info as well printed in Chinese about uh, the features. It has, for instance, Bluetooth 2.1, a 1.8 inch TFT LCD display, it does have an FM radio feature, it does support a micro SD card for memory expansion, even though 8 gigabytes are built in by default. It can play back images, text files, MP3 WMA uh, files without any issues. It has a pedometer, which is actually pretty interesting, almost like a light fitness tracker, and uh, again, some other specifications on here. Now, something I'm going to point out is if you have Bluetooth uh, turned on and you're using Bluetooth all the time, it's going to drain the battery a lot faster. Uh, before, if you got, let's say, 20 hours of audio playback, it's going to drain down in roughly eight hours or nine hours. So it uh, slashes the battery almost in half with Bluetooth on. So consider that uh, if, and use it sparingly if you don't want to use that mode. Now the design of the W6 is very lightweight. Here we can compare it with some other uh, recent MP4 players or MP3 players that we checked out that were also lossless sound. You can see it's a bit longer than your typical uh, form factor, but it's uh, pretty similar as far as uh, overall thickness. The frame here is constructed out of aluminum, so it feels relatively sturdy although the top and the bottom here are made out of plastic as opposed to glass. So it's actually a lot lighter in weight than you'll expect by first picking it up. Now On is actually a pretty established brand name in China, and this has actually been designed in Denmark as opposed to Shenzhen, China. So we expect it to be a slightly higher quality than your generic MP3 player just uh, on the market. Bottom here features a mini USB for data and charging, 3.5mm headphone jack, micro SD card slot for expanding the memory, and then on the other side there's nothing at all, so very simple. Uh, to turn it on, you have to tap on the center key, which is the play pause key for a few seconds, and afterwards it's going to boot. You can see the interface here has been designed from the ground up by on, um, and for the most part it's fairly intuitive. Uh, I would say that you have to kind of learn how to use it, uh, and that takes you roughly 10 to 15 minutes, and afterwards you'll get used to the setup. Something that did surprise me at first though was the keys on the front, even though they look flush and capacitive, they're actually not touch sensitive. Instead, they're physical keys with a, a tactile sensation when you t press down on them. So you do have to exert more pressure, but at the same time you can still use them when you are wearing gloves or your hands you know, aren't directly touching the surface. So the interface here is sorted by carousels, uh, very colorful icons for the various features. Um, and for instance, I can go into music by tapping on the menu key once, this is actually the OK key, um, as opposed to the center key, so that is something to take note of. From here we have a file manager that uh, sorts my music between the local music, which is the content loaded into the 8 gigabytes built in, versus TF card, which is you know the m memory that you want to put in here by a memory expansion card. So it sorts them into separate folders that you can then load up. Um, otherwise it does support cover art, and since it's a lossless sound mp3 player, the audio quality here is actually pretty good, um, it gives you enough detail. There's no built-in DAC, and it uh, definitely isn't the most expensive mp3 player in On's collection. They have much more premium options which are geared for audiophiles, whereas this one is more consumer oriented, but sound quality actually is quite good. I would say it's comparable to an iPod Nano, which is uh, saying a lot since the Nano did retail for four times the price of the W6. So sound quality is good, you can listen to tracks and various genres, audiobooks without too many problems. To go back, what you do is you long hold on the menu key for a few seconds, and that takes you back. 
Some other things I can take a look at, video player here plays back MP4 files without too many problems, but you are limited to a relatively small screen. And it's an LCD panel, but it's not IPS, which means that viewing angles aren't great. As you start tilting the screen, you can see that the image and uh, color accuracy does become shifted. Um, so just like with those other MP3 players that we saw, um, it's, it's usable, but it's not going to be ideal uh, compared to something like a smartphone or a tablet for watching videos, of course. Next, we have the radio function, and if we tap on that, you can see that it can scan through channels without having you to having you plug in a headphone. So the reception is actually built in, and you can actually long hold on a skip track key here to start scanning through channels automatically. It's an FM radio, and its reception actually seems quite good here in the Bay Area. Uh, we consistently got a fair selection of channels, and the sound quality was also quite good. Um, I can also change region, I can change the volume controls as well, so all those things are pretty easy to use, and I can also save a channel, um, although I can't actually record uh, part of the radio, which is a feature that uh, some MP3 players do have. So let's stop this and uh, long hold on menu again to exit. Next we have again photo, which is the same thing as uh, video, but you can use it as a digital photo frame of sorts. Next, we have a text reader, which uh, you know can be used to display quick contacts, maybe a few quick uh, documents and instructions. But I wouldn't really recommend putting in ebooks on here just because the text isn't formatted very well, and you do have to do a lot of scrolling left and right if you plan on reading longer documents. So that's something to keep in mind. Sound recorder here actually works pretty well. There is a microphone on board and allows me to record uh, sound files continuously. Um, with that being said, it takes a few seconds for it to process. You can see that with eight gigabytes, I get roughly um, 548 hours of audio recording, which is actually quite impressive. The microphone is located on the edge, so uh, it's not a noise canceling mic or anything, and uh, it doesn't offer fancy features like voice zooming. Uh, if the lecturer or the presenter is at the front of the room and shuffling around, um, you know, it might struggle a bit more if there's some background noise. But for the most part, it picks up voices pretty well, and for some quick lecture or business notes, it does the job. Um, so it's a nice little handy feature built on it. Let's tap on back. Finally, let's go into the Bluetooth mode, and here is where we can turn the Bluetooth on or off. Uh, when it's turned on, it's going to automatically scan the region for available Bluetooth devices. So if you have a Bluetooth earphone, it will connect without any issues. When it comes to audio playback using Bluetooth, uh, since it is using Bluetooth version 2.1, it is an older standard than 4.1, which is the uh, more, more typical in 2017. And as a result, uh, some newer devices won't be found, and occasionally you do have some dropped uh, you know, connections. Uh, connection range is technically rated at 10 meters or 33 feet, but in my testing I found that if I strayed a too far, maybe just by you know five or six feet away, sometimes it did tend to disconnect. But as long as it's connected, if you have the music player in your pocket or in a backpack nearby, sound quality is pretty good. There's a little bit of static and distortion, and uh, you know it's definitely not as clean sounding as just using the 3.5 millimeter plug, which is expected since uh, Bluetooth isn't really you know, meant for audio files, but it works, and again, for quick exercises or runs at the gym, it does the job without too many issues. From here, I can also, again, navigate left and down through a list if it's found any available devices, and then tap on the center here to connect to a device. So let's exit out of this, and long press to go back. Uh, here we have the pedometer, so this is actually kind of an interesting mini fitness tracker uh, of sorts, I can tap on the play key here to start it, and from here it's going to tell me how many steps I've moved. Uh, so there is actually a, a gravity sensor or a um, you know accelerometer on here that detects things like that, vibration and, and shock. Now unfortunately you can see that it does you know, pick up uh, steps very easily. It's quite sensitive, so the accuracy here isn't outstanding. It does tell you also the time that's elapsed, calories burned, and movements per hour as kind of a speed, so that's actually pretty useful. But again, it's definitely not as accurate as something like an actual fitness tracker or a real fitness band. Uh, so even though it's a nice little attempt, it's not going to be practical for everyone. Uh, from here, I can also stop it, and then of course go back into the main screen. Now going into settings next, here is where we can set up things like passwords, we can also change the screen uh, 
time where you know before it goes into sleep mode i can also go in and change my step profile so this allows me to change my weight and my step size so for instance if i have a longer stride length that's going to calibrate the accelerometer to be less sensitive um, where you know it's going to require a larger motion to correspond to one step and that could be actually quite useful if you want to use a pedometer uh, so that's something to keep in mind here i can change my weight in terms of a classification range and let's go back. Um, finally, in here, I can also change my profile settings, uh, language settings, and power off the entire device. So if we go into language, for instance, you can see that I can go through Chinese, English, Japanese, Spanish, French, um, and the list just goes on and on. This is very, it's a very multilingual set of, uh, of languages here. It's not just limited to English, which is what we typically find on a low-cost budget MP4 player. When you're ready to turn it off, just tap on the uh, play pause key for a few seconds longer and the entire machine will promptly turn off. So all in all, I think that the On W6 is a pretty intuitive MP4 player. Um, is it the best that I've ever seen? No. I think that the build quality here, because it's plastic, uh, same thing with the keys here, could be a little bit better, so that it feels more premium. I also think that uh, the Bluetooth connection could be a little stronger. However, the overall audio quality is quite good. The menu interface is simple and attractive, and uh, for the price, you are getting a pretty attractive package, considering it has more features than your typical uh, MP3 player. The fact that it also supports hi-fi lossless sound files is going to be a plus for audiophiles looking for a low-cost backup device. So you can check out more details about the On W6 in our official written review, but for now this has been our video. Thanks for watching here at OS Reviews.